Hempstead Harbor was so polluted that for 40 years the state closed its waters to clamors. Last week, the DEC reopened much of the harbor to clamming, marking a victory for a coalition of local governments who cleaned up a harbor that was considered an environmental disaster in the 1970s. As Carol DiPaolo recalls. This is the 25th year uh, that the coalition has been in existence. To be able to see this milestone with the recertification of the shellfish beds in Hempstead Harbor is just so wonderful that they coincided. The restoration of the shellfish beds also marked a victory in the joint federal and state effort to save Long Island Sound. Hundreds of millions of dollars have been spent to upgrade sewage treatment plants, treat stormwater runoff, and restore marine habitat. Another milestone could be reached this summer. The EPA has proposed that all the waters in Long Island Sound be designated a no-discharge zone. When the rule is finally adopted, New York boaters will have to use pump-out facilities for waste disposal. And there's more good news about shellfish. Hard clam catches have tripled in the past decade, and more acreage has been open to clamming, especially in Hempstead Harbor. All good signs. Besides, clams can actually clean up waters in our bays, as each clam can process up to 50 gallons a day of water, filtering out impurities. In fact, the Long Island Sound study is funding research to determine whether clams can be used strategically to improve water quality in waters off Bridgeport. But the best way to celebrate the return of clams is to savor them raw on the half shell, including those dug in Hempstead Harbor. For Cablevision, I'm Peter Kohler.